Morning, everybody. So um, I had a few people ask me what it was I was doing here. So I thought I'd just make a, a very, very quick video just to give you a little tour of some of the gadgets that I've got. Um, what I'm doing, I'm basically live looping. Um, and the software that I use, a lot of the producer dudes that are on my newsfeed will know, um, is Ableton Live 11. Um, and what I've done is I've synced Ableton Live to this thing here, which is called a Boss RC505. And this is, well, for me, it's just bollocks. So I've always been like a kind of bandy person. Um, and what the RC505 does is it effectively loops. It's got five channels and you can just play in it and it just loops stuff over and you can got these nice big fat pads that you can hit and there's effects on it and stuff you know so i can do stuff <laughs> if i want to um so my midi sounds come out of ableton but i'm also using this thing which is called uh, a native instruments machine um mark ii would like to have the mark three it's quite expensive i actually went to a music shop yesterday and uh it's quite a lot of toys in there, but um, yeah. So I've also running the machine. So basically, what I'm doing is, is the RC505 is my audio output. So Ableton and the machine software go into the RC505. So I've got this thing here, which is a complete A61. So it's Native Instruments MIDI keyboard. Um, and then I am using for the bass and the guitar. Nice new guitar, Fender, Telecaster, Vintero 60s, it's lovely. Um, that's going into this Yamaha mixing, um, um, four channel mixer that I've got here. So that then also goes into the RC5, so everything goes into the RC505. Um, and then handily, I got these yesterday, I bought these yesterday, these Boss wireless jacks. So these are really good as well, because it means you can just move around without any hassle. And then what you can do is, you know, you can just clear that track. Quite simply, just play a riff. And you can record it and go. Record it and go. And I'll just play it over and over and over and over. And the same thing for the bass as well. So the bass is also on a wireless um, jack, so it's just so handy. You've got no leads like in your face. You can, uh, you know, just move around. And then the trickiest part is really going through the 10 billion sounds that you've got on Ableton and on um, the Native Instruments Complete software, because I've got the whole complete package. And that's what takes the most time. You sort of spend hours just trying to find a bass sound or a synth sound or something. I found this one. It's not very good. And I was trying to find vocal and I found that one. And then all the drums are in here. You just load all the pads up with um, loads of sounds. So you can um, get uh, 16, 16 pads, but then you've got 16 times uh, eight, effectively. Of samples that you can load up. I always have this thing here, which is a, a Native Instruments F1, but I use that for DJ. It's a similar thing to the machine. You can load up one shots and samples, and then as you're DJing, you can play that out as well through the uh, Pro software. But, um, yeah, that's what I do. Not very good at it at the moment, but I'm getting better, I think. So I seem to get a bit of positive feedback, so that's all right. But anyway, I'll speak to you later.